Now we are going to talk about another important transaction which is called ME2S which is service per purchase order. So if you double click on it, okay, so it will tell you what are the services that are created per purchase order, okay. So it's the service tab that gets created when the item category is D, you have this. So this is running, if you see, that's the program name that is running. Probably I'm the first one who is running this in this system. So whenever it takes time to run, basically it's 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 happening because of because it's uh, because I'm running for the first time. Okay, when this compiling happens, so service per purchase order is still running, and this is we are running this in an S4 HANA system. The same transaction code will be available in ECC6. Okay. So still running and uh, so before we have already discussed about ME2W, ME2STAR, ME2V and ME2S now we are going to do. So it's still running and in the, in the meantime let me create a new session. Okay and let's cover something else also. When before it me to s comes, we can do the subcontract cockpit. Okay, so if you click on me twenty two zero n, it's also running. Oops, everything is slow now. So let's see. This is the subcontracting cockpit. No one has ever run it again. So so let's see. So generally, how you know a transaction, all the report starts with ME, because what what you go, what you do is you get a sample like uh, ME twenty three N, which is for purchase order. So if something starts with ME for purchasing, then others will start with ME also. So so this is oops. This is still running. Oh, finally came. So that's the subcontracting cockpit. So we can take care of this. Okay, so here you can see we'll just execute and we'll see whether there is any subcontracting. So you can select by the plant. And here it's so you can you can see what is this, what are the details coming. So it's taking some time. And in the meantime, the other one, oh, it came pure reporting with services. So that's also there now. So if I execute, it does it execute or it didn't say anything or it doesn't find anything. Reading purchase order, it doesn't have anything. So let me execute for, let me execute for everything. Okay, final account, probably there is nothing available in the system. But if you had a service related with purchase orders, then you will get all these things. But since you don't have anything, it's not showing up. Okay, so now let's see the subcontracting bit. Here also it doesn't show anything. Let's go to F8. And let's see. So I think it's doing something. Yeah, here we have some data. So here you can see these are the different subcontracting cockpit. So what you can do, you can click on the drill down and it will open up all the stock details. Okay, so if I double click on it, it will, it doesn't take me anywhere. Does it take me anywhere? No, it's a drill down report. So it doesn't take me anywhere. So if so if you see this is this this have stock details to each then we can see this one and what is this color so this color is tell stock positive this is stock negative and you can do create delivery from here so if I click here I can do put goods issue and this if I do put goods issue from here it will probably take me to Migo. Let's see. 
where it does so it's taking me it's a subcontract from here we can create a delivery we can create the reservation we can go to the stock overview we can go to the stock requirements so here if you see creates goods issue create document you can click so if i click on this and i click create document it will create or uh, i think it is having list incomplete which is an error enter a quantity and unit of measure so quantity so i put one unit of entry so i click create it's doing something for sure and it says plant and story not defined please check your input so there's some config miss missing okay plant and storage location let me see uh, I can pick up storage location or not. Okay. So here I click this, click create, and possible only okay the period is messed up. So can I put a different period? Let me see. I change layout. Can I change the date? Probably I can. I close this. And here we have a date somewhere. No. So, but if I click on the create delivery, I can. Yes, so you can adjust. So it can create a delivery, but the, but the date is the problem because the, the periods are closed. That's the problem. Otherwise, we could have posted it. Now, if I go here and if I click uh, stock overview, so here if I open the stock overview uh, section, it will give me all the stock details. So, if you see, this is the stock plant US, this, this thing, this is the stock available. And now, if I go here, so here, this is the stock overview took me here and now if I go to the stock requirement so if you take me to the transaction there directly so it's like a dashboard it's pretty useful and it can be used so this is a this is a plain training system so here you can see the stock MRP 24 2020 this is the date the available quantity is 85 now here if I want to change it please select a line let's select this line and, and click change mm, cannot be executed for that element if I double click on this nope it's not allowing me change nope. so click on this one this one vendor so it gives me the vendor, it gives me the customer, no customer found for this MRP. Show overview tree, let's see. So this is the plant, this is the material, so this is the stock. So it's pretty useful. So so that that covers everything about the subcontract uh, cockpit. Okay. And uh, We'll go to the next topic pretty soon.